Hey everyone, I'm Keychain. Today I wanted to share my super farm. Um, the reason I call it a super farm is because I've been working pretty hard at this for a while and I'm trying to get to a goal of 1 million food production per hour and 1 million wood production per hour. So I've been working on this farm for 187 days. So this is not going to be a quick process if you want to copy this. It's it's uh, my solution to not having multiple farms. I just want one farm account, one other account to play. And this is how I've done it. So one of the things that I was super excited about and really just like normal people probably saw the peasant set and are like, great, like a gathering set. What am I going to do with that? <laughs> I jumped up and down when I saw this peasant set. Um, two reasons. One, I gather on both counts all day long. I gather food, iron wood, all of it on my farm. And then on my main, I gather food. And as soon as my five marches come back with food, I send the food to this account and I send marches back out to gather. And I do that all day long. Uh, with this new peasant set, it now only takes an hour and 18 minutes for my main to gather a level seven food tile. I haven't checked yet on my farm how long it takes, but the reason for that is down this left side, now you've got additional troop load, food gathering speed, wood gathering speed, all the gathering speeds, plus a bonus resource gathering speed on all three of these down the left side. On the right side, this is what made me super excited for my super farm, production. You've got bonus production on all three of these down the side. And then over here for the six piece set, you've got additional gathering speed, more troop load, and even more production. So that gave me a huge boost to my goal. Now let me show you where we're at right now. Um, with everything boosted, I'm at 931,000 food production per hour and 837,000 wood production per hour. I haven't caught the wood up yet because um, of the last 50% event, I went up to Castle 33, and I haven't caught up yet. So I still haven't done all the farms, and I want to show you what happens when I do a farm. So um, let me get back over here. So right now, where do we at? 931, 800. So when I upgrade a farm, um, let's look at the info here. So upgrading a farm from... 32 to 33 is going to increase the base food production by 2,200 and what, 55? So not too bad, but that's multiplied by tons and tons of stuff. So we're going to do one upgrade. Um, I'm going to spam through this and then we'll check again and see how much it gained. So let's go back over now. Um, so now I'm at 936,000. So small little chunks. Now how did I get so much bonus production? A lot of ways. Uh, I'll go through all of them. So first, talent points. The talent points on this account. I want production everywhere I can. Next thing I'm coming back around for is wood production right here. I'm going to go get this wood production. Um, with my next level upgrade, but I've got, you know, everywhere that I can, I've chosen production, um, production, production, production everywhere. Um, and all the way through silver too. So I'm focusing on wood and food, but also, I mean, look at the iron, 41,000 iron or not iron, silver, 41,000 silver production per hour too. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm looking at close to a million silver a day with that, um, especially uh, if I use on time, if I use this instant yield every 12 hours like I'm supposed to, which I get pretty close to that. That's an extra 10 hours of production every day, and that puts me well over my 1 million um, food and wood per hour and well over a million silver per day. Um, okay, so talent points was the first way. Second, research. Showing the research on this account, I've got barely any research done anywhere else, but my economy tab is just stacked, and I'm not even done yet. 
But in here, I've picked all of the production that I can. I've got all three of these. Um, I've got the food production to 10. I'm working on wood production to 10. I'm going to do the iron and silver production all the way up to 10. And then I'll probably go through and increase the gathering uh, and max all this out. This is the only tab that matters on this account because it's here for gathering and production. Uh, I still have enough stats so that I can maintain a decent level in the spirit mines um, and, you know, trying to do some expedition and stuff, but it's all about production. Now, the other big piece um, is the mermaid. So the mermaid made this goal more possible. Um, looking at this mermaid, the first one, I've got, I'm going to be gaining an extra almost 20% food and wood production pretty soon here. Um, my current buffs right now, I've, well, I do have 20% already. It's going to go up even further next level. But I've got the, you know, 20% food production, 20% wood production, etc. Um, I'm going to work on silver next with the next mermaid. Uh, and if you haven't seen my other video, you can actually check the mermaid skills by hitting switch and then hitting mermaid skills and then clicking the other mermaid. So the other thing that will help with my silver production and iron production is when they release the second mermaid, um, I will be working on this mermaid to get the additional iron and silver production to try and boost that even further. Uh, the other last, one of the other things that uh, makes this possible is guard weapons. So getting in here to guard weapons, um, let me show you kind of my setup. So troop load and resource production here. So my resource production is at 38% on this weapon. Uh, on this one, we've got resource production and silver gathering. This one, resource production and troop load. This one has resource production and troop load. Same thing for this one. This one has silver gathering and resource production. Silver gathering and resource production. And this one has food gathering, resource protection or er, production, and cavalry health. Now, the only reason I have the cav health on this is while I was rolling, uh, after I had resource production locked in, I hit two at once. And I got the food gathering and cavalry health at the same time. So I just kept that. Um, but you can see here that I'm getting a huge amount of resource production from the troop weapons. Uh, and I can actually do my enhances for today. So let's see if I can get lucky and get a little bit of a boost somewhere. So 30. This one's the lowest at 33. So I'm going to try this one. So here we gained 1.4%. Another 0.2. There's a negative. We don't want that. Another 0.1. And a 0.6. So we just gained a pretty decent chunk. And let's see what that did to our totals. So now we're at 938,000. So every little thing adds just a little bit, but it all adds up. It all makes a big difference. Um, and honestly, I think that it's so much easier to play just this one account and to work on this one account than it is to have three or four farms and worried about signing into each of them every day and, and getting the, the stuff from, you know, the catacombs and getting the stuff from Spirit Mines and, you know, doing all that. I treat this more like, uh, like a, a second account than just a farm. You know, I actually play it in the events. I um, sign into it every day. I do the estate affairs. I do the dailies. I do all that stuff. Um, but... Again, when I do need something, <laughs> this account gets plundered because, you know, that's what it's here for. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really wanted to share on this. Um, it's just uh, I, I was excited that I'm really close to my goal and I wanted to share um, so that people can start working towards this. Now, this castle, it is a castle 33. Um, so if you're starting new, you're not going to get the same level of results. Uh, and it's slow going, but it'll just keep increasing. Um, and eventually, you know, maybe when I get perfect resource production on all of those guard weapons and I max out the mermaid um, 
and I get some of those other things, maybe I'll just keep going and, you know, next thing you know, I'll have a little Castle 40 farm that's producing, you know, 1.5 million food and wood per hour and, you know, 100,000 silver per hour, you know, sky's the limit. We'll see what the actual maximum limits um, of production are in this game. All right, um, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I would love to hear comments on this, um, questions. Let me know how I got, if you want to know how I got started, uh, how I got this idea in the first place, if you want to know how you can start your own, um, you know, ask questions in the comments. I will answer to the best of my ability. Remember to hit the like and the subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.